so in this video we'll be looking at the context of the sonnet and we'll start with the sonnet so the present sonnet how do i love thee is uh, the 43rd sonnet out of the out of her collection called sonnets from the portuguese uh, this was a collection by elizabeth barrett browning which comprised 44 sonnets in all and this was written during the time of her courtship uh, when she was in love um, with robert browning before she got married to him uh, the sonnets reflect barrett's predicament as a woman in love but at the same time her state as a chronic invalid as someone who does not keep well and as, as someone who is much older than the man she loved so let's look at the present sonnet how do i love thee how do i love thee let me count the ways i love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach when feeling out of sight for the ends of being and ideal grace i love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candlelight i love thee freely as men strive for right i love thee purely as they turn from praise i love thee with the passion put to use in my old griefs and with my childhood's faith i love thee with the love i seem to lose with my lost saints i love thee with the breath smiles tears of all my life and if god choose i shall but love thee better after death so that was the sonnet for you as we know a sonnet does not exceed 14 lines and if we look at the rhyme scheme of this sonnet the scheme is a b b a a b b a c d c d c d which means you have we need to consider the last word of each line to understand the rhyme scheme so you have ways over here and then you have height then you have sight and you have grace so you have grace rhyming with ways and you have height and sight rhyming so if this is a and this is b you have b again and followed by a and the second stanza also follows the same kind of pattern days rhymes with praise and light rhymes with right so this takes care of the first eight lines which is often called the which is called the octave octave standing for eight so this is how uh, but here you have quartet quartet so four lines make up one idea then you have the next four lines making up the second idea and then you have the sestet if you look over here cd 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 it depicts six lines so 8 plus 6 14 or 4 plus 4 plus 6 is 14 so if you look at these lines they are six in all and you have use which rhymes with lose and then again choose so if we put to consider this word as c and this is d so you have c d then again you have c and d faith and breath very close to each other and then death so you have c d c d and c d that's as far as the rhyme scheme of the sonnet goes